Hello YouTube, long time no see? It's Nicola speaking. How are you? After the almost 3 weeks pause, I am back in the game. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create this responsive navigation using HTML and CSS Media Query. This tutorial won't be ordinary coding tutorial. Instead, we are going to check our HTML and CSS code. Let me show you our project. I'm in the Firefox developer edition and here you can check the width of your screen, actually of this screen. The size, the height, it's, it is not irrelevant right now. And let's see what's going to happen when I strike the 768 pixels. Our navigation go beneath our logo. Let's see under the 500 pixels. Our address is the top on the top of our working hours. Further shrinking, it is no need for it, for it because it is meaningless when we go under, I think, 320 pixels. Okay, this is our project. We have nice hover animation and also on the top of our navigation, we have so-called top bar with font uh, awesome icons with address and working hours. Before we start, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, write down in the comments. Don't forget to smash the bell. Let's check our code. For this tutorial, I have used the VS code and here this is my HTML, my HTML code. Let me, uh, let's make some little, some room here. Here. Yes. In the header, in the head actually, I have added font awesome icons. This is my link for my style CSS. Also, I'm using the Montserrat and Ranchers fonts from Google Font Library, Fonts Library, and here we have the five icon, and this is the title for my project. Okay, now let me show you the structure for HTML. In the body, so far we have two, uh, two division. The first is top bar, this one, and second is navigation. In the top bar, we have another division it, with class of container and flex. I'm going to talk about these classes in a minute. And first div, it have actually both divs have the class flex. In the first one, first contains the map icon with uh, the street, second one, our glass icon and information. Both icons. I wrapped in another division and the informations is in span HTML tag. Okay. In the second one, second division, we have another division, of course, with class of container and container contains <laughs> the another division with the logo. Here, this is logo with class of nav and flags, of course, here we have wrapped link uh, around our logo. Actually, our division, our logo is the wrapped in one link. Okay. And on the right screen, we right screen, right part of the screen, we have our navigation. This is the unordered list with class of flex and each link is wrapped in ally. Okay. Let's go on our CSS. We can see the some reset styling. With this I remove all margins and paddings and set box sizing to be border box. For body I add the font family, background, this shade of grey. This is the I remove text decoration for the links and set to be the white color. UL are, ULs are without the list styling. I added the padding for allies and with container I centered our content on this page. Let me show you what's going on when I remove this class, this, and with container. I uh, This container has max width of 1200 pixels, margin is auto, and a little bit padding for left and right. 
class of flex is actually the flex box. This is cutting edge technolo technology with grid. If you want to know more about flex, you can check the Mozilla, CD, uh, Mozilla MDN and W3 schools resources. Also, on my channel, I have one one little uh, series of videos when I code completely complete and modern and responsive HTML and CSS website. There uh, also I am using the the flex and grid. I will put links into the I will put links into description. Okay. For the top bar, this this part here, I have added the height of 40 pixel. You can see the padding, font size, and background is pure white. For icons, this is our font size, margin, and other color, triple trees, navigation content. In this second div here, it has different color, again triple trees, and different color, uh, different padding, sorry. For logo, I have add the, added the different font family, font size, color is shade of orange, and letter spacing of 6 pixels. This is the hover state with transition of half second. For our uh, links in Li, this I have added the letter spacing, and this is the hover state for nice hover animation with this underline in width of, uh, I think, yeah, border bottom 3 pixels. And also, I have removed the margin right for the last child, for the, this uh, ally here. Let me show you what's going on. See that this the, we, here we have some space. And now it is removed. Okay, this space coming from this padding of 0.75 RAM for all allies. Okay. After our last child, we have two media queries. The first one is when we strike 768 pixels, flex direction from row going to the column, and with that, our logo is on the top of our navigation. Let me show you. Okay. Also, here we change the margin bottom for our logo. And I set the set the different padding for allies on the screen size under the 768 pixels. The next media query is under the 500 pixels, and it means that top bar have the different width. Let me strike the 500. Top bar have has different width, width uh, actually height. And container also it means that that means that uh, our address is on the top of our working hours. Let me show you. This is default in row, but I want to be in column. And also I have added on this first division on the logo. Actually, I have had the actually on this uh, this division here. I think. I have had four pixels bottom. Let me show you. Yes, In this first division. Okay, guys, this is the end of this video. I hope that you like this kind of format that I'm presenting you, that I'm explaining to you my my code. Subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, write down in the comments. Don't forget to smash the bell and see you in next video. Bye-bye.